Hello my soccer universe to finally the 23-24 Europa League jersey review and this year since we're doing it uh, ahead of the Christmas break we're looking at all the teams that are present in the group stage which I'm very excited about but yeah I'm sorry I wanted to actually do this a month earlier however life I really could not find the time this type of videos are a little bit more work than other videos that I'm publishing so I had to postpone it now we are in December, just ahead of the last match day that I'm shooting this. I'm going to split this review into four videos uh, with two groups in each video. Uh, basically, we'll have first video group A, group B, then C, D, E, F uh, is part three and G, H is part four. Within each video, we go group by group and within each group, I'll sort the teams sort of alphabetically. If you would like all the pictures that you see in these videos are taken from um, football kit archive a website that I can warmly recommend and all the jerseys are rated from 1 to 10 a little caveat also uh, there are some teams in there mostly Eastern European former Soviet Union teams that I did not get either the best pictures but also not the full um the full kit overview so i might skip there a little bit so and in the second part we have already the first team where i don't have the previous of pictures and that's also uh the first team that we'll be looking at which is aris from limassol um we see here the home jersey by adidas classic adidas uh green and white stripes nothing really really wrong maybe the sponsors with the love cypress and visit sizes and cypress is a little bit odd uh, and also kills the center stripe but other than that i think this is actually quite nice for a green and white stripe jer uh, jersey almost classic adidas logo in white potentially i think would work out but i think we can give this uh without much uh, bad thought a seven star the away jersey makes sense it is black same sponsor type of thing but i'm not really sold on that it's kind of almost a lazy black since it's just black black and white there's no green or whatever in there which i would have loved to see i think the crest could have been reworked this way also the striping put a little a little bit green in there so gonna go five because it's more or less black for black's sake we're staying with green and white, but we go now to Betis. There are a whole lot of green and white teams and blue teams in this group, as you only can make out in the background. Real Betis, Hummel's second effort. Uh, the last one, I think, was a little bit more um, green. Now we have more the emphasis on the white with the white sleeves. Uh, but I have, have had to say the green and white striping, even with the size frame, looks cool. There's a diamond pattern in there, which potentially is a little bit too much, if you ask me. But, you know makes it interesting to look at i really like that classic homo uh neck line probably could have repeated that on the sleeves i think if the sleeves were striped this would be a real uh winner for me this way yeah so and so it i, I have I, ha I have to say well there's nothing really wrong with this shirt it has been leaving me kind of cold i think there have been better betty shirts out there if you were to ask me so um yeah Six stars, I think it's nothing bad, but it's also not outstanding. Uh, we have a purely green uh, away jersey, which I think looks very interesting. There are a lot of Hummel chevrons in there. Uh, it has a very late 80s, early 90s feel to it, which is something I really, really like. But then on the, on the, on the other side, it's also not really something, um, how to say, super exciting. But Hummel have been going this year on a real retro trip this is about as retro as it can can be i think i have i have to love them for that i'm gonna go seven with this jersey and then the third jersey takes the famous denmark 1986 template in black and gray so you don't really see it but here like aris uh we have a black one but you see there's a little bit green put in which makes this an infinitely better jer uh, jersey that makes betis actually stand out a whole lot more even with the pattern it's not so bad i i actually think it's also a really nice one out there is it outstanding no but it's really really uh good over so gonna go with a seven right here 
And we move to another team with Shadow Stripes this time, Castori Rangers. I'm a little bit struggling with this one. Uh, it almost looks a little bit boring. Uh, I have had to say there's too much. Um, the red, I think um, for, for, for me, the, the, the sleeves are kind of undefined. I'm okay with the color, although I probably would prefer a little bit more white. But yeah, um, I like the shadow pinstriping, if you like. No, it's not even pinstriping, it's, it's just very thin stri uh, uh, striping. But I have to say, the five, sorry, rain, rain, rain. this is a jersey that has been leaving, leaving me quite cold. This one up there, I really love that one. Not so much. Um, we have the away jersey though, which I think is really interesting. And that one I like a whole lot better. I maybe wish that the um, pinstripes, and these are now true pinstripes, would go all the way up. But I understand why they fade out with the sponsor, because you don't have to break it up. And you don't have to break it up for uh, the logos up there as well. So it keeps it up clean and down. It is something interesting. I also like the, um, that the club's colors are present on the neckline and, and the sleeve cuffs. Um, again. I think this is where Castori did a good job, uh, but it goes like kind of where the Betty's uh, home jersey was with six. The third jersey though, I like that. I know orange is kind of a contentious color, but this is uh, this one I like. This one I like, and yes, I, I may have spent in Europe, European play, they have a slightly different sponsor, of course. Um, but this one is, I, is a very strong, strong look. I'm gonna go seven with this one right here. And then they also have a third jersey in red and white, which is a bit too wild for my taste. I do like the color though. Um, I'm gonna go six here. I think Rangers have a very interesting offering. It's just not totally to my lucky. Sparta Praha, the Czech champ uh, champ champions are reusing the title winning jersey from last time. And these are the jerseys that I saw when I was in Prague last year. Um, I have to say that the home jersey, I mean, the new Sparta crest is already a little bit something to, to get used because there's suddenly a lot of black in there, whereas the old one, you had kind of a black S on a maroon background. Um, I'm not so sold on the black outlines, really. Uh, I think there could be there could be something better uh, happening here. Other than that, Maroon is classic as is. They have, of course, a different sponsor in Europe and there's no uh, advertising for betting companies allowed as well. Here I have a picture. But in a way, it's a jersey that, yeah, I had in my hands, I was lo looking at it, it just doesn't cut it right, uh, especially since it's uh, sometimes even worn with white pants. So yeah, I would have liked white accents there. This is for me a little bit more Sparta. So I'm gonna go with a five here, yeah, a strict, but the away jersey, the one that I got for Idris, that's a real beauty, I have to say. Um, maybe missing, you know, make it with uh, red and blue pinstripes, but uh, it's really cool looking. A really cool looking jersey. Yes, it's a template, but that one works out really, 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 really well for Sparta. And for that reason, I'm gonna go um, with eight here. Even it could have been slightly improved, but it's a really good one. Then they have an anniversary jersey, which is black and gold, classic colors, not very Sparta though. But I can see what they are doing here, and they're just really focusing on the S. Uh, of Sparta, so I guess it's it's cool. It's not a bad low look in jersey for a specialty jersey. I'm gonna close my eyes and say, okay, black and gold looks actually quite nice. Let's get the same thing. Let's go with a seven. We are out of Group C. Let's go over to Group D. Uh, very in interesting group. We start with Atalanta and Homa. And I don't know what Homer was th thinking by dulling down the colors. I mean, it looks like two shades of blue instead of the classic black and blue. Um, not a great jersey. Really, I'm not sold on this one. It should look classic Atalanta. If you take the full black and the full blue, I think it's really nice. But there's a slight blue, um, how, how to say, a, a, a blue stain or a blue fade all over this, which I guess you need to do it uh, if you, you know, reproduce jerseys. Just not sold on it. Also, in Europe, you don't have the Radjic Group's um, sponsor up, up there, but that's this picture that I got. So, yeah, um, honestly, it's not out very, very, very Atalanta to me uh, because of the shade, shade, shade of color. I'm only gonna go five. The away jersey I could like a whole lot. Uh, I really like the 
pit strafing in the uh, black and blue. Uh, you also only have the circular crest from, um, from the logo, club, club logo, so that's cool. Uh, also note the sleeve curves are different color, the sides are diff different color, there's a whole lot going on. Maybe uh, the pinstripes should probably better continue onto the sleeves, but the collar, what's up with that collar? That's a really, really odd collar. I, 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 I would say for that reason, I'm only gonna dish out a seven here. And then they have a city jersey in red. It reminds me a bit of when Inter had a red th uh, away jersey, which didn't sit well, uh, well with the fan base because you know, red is Milan's colors. Uh, with Atalanta, I don't think we have that problem per se. I like that there's a city map on there. It just looks a little bit odd to see a red Atalanta jersey. Red with uh, black and blue light, like that will, will always look odd to me. However, it's a decent jer uh, jersey, so uh, let's give it a six and move on to the next team, which is Rakov uh, Jens Stochowa. Jens Stochowa is it's, it's, it's called the Polish Champions, actually a relatively re 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 small team. And they used the template they saw in part one with Olympiakos, but actually here I think it works a teeny bit better. Because uh, it is the club's colors, red and blue, and you can kind of get something wavy on there. A little bit of camouflage pattern. A whole lot of sponsors in Europe. There's only the Zonda Crypto. Uh, but other than that, yeah. I have, I have to say it's maybe not the greatest jersey overall. But I have I have to say it, it, it works a whole lot better than uh, we had it for um, Olymp Olympiakos. Gonna go with a 5-5 five, here. Five. The pattern is a little bit wild, but other than that, fine. The away jersey, a little bit boring. I mean, in the league version, there's uh, this whole fade in there, which makes it interesting. The, away, uh, the, Euro, the European version is just, yeah, there's also a little bit fade in there. Again, nothing really exciting. I would also, um, yeah. yeah, let's stick with 5 and let's move on. Sporting. Sporting for once uses a slightly different template less, you know, the first time they worked there with Nike had one, then they flipped the colors. Now we have at least the big shoulders uh, from this Nike template that we're all uh, tired of from, honestly, at least I am, and I know a lot of a lot, lot of collectors as well, but uh, it is very sporting, although I think sporting should have thinner stripes, like the jersey that I have back there, although those maybe are, are, are a bit too thin. And I also feel that there's too much green on the top. I probably would have switched on the main part of the body. I would have switched the white and the green. That would have looked a whole lot better. But you know, everything above here is just green. So that doesn't quite look right. It also to me doesn't quite look right to have a monochromatic crest with just a green and white. I think the lion in yellow is actually pretty cool looking. I like the trim in black though because it fits very well uh, with the pants. But yeah, again, not the absolute greatest jersey, but it works. I think I'm gonna give it six here. The away jersey, that is quite in interesting. You have pinstriping, similar pen again, pinstriping on the sleeves, maybe. But I know this is probably hard, hard, hard to achieve with the template. I also think that probably uh, having green or black uh, cuffs and collar would give this jersey a little bit more personality. Other than that, I think it is uh, quite nice. It's better than the home jersey. I'm gonna give it seven. And then we have the first Cristiano branded uh, jersey that looks just ugly. It's actually, the best thing about this is the crest, but the golden shoulders and the way that this does not work with the trapezoid here, it's just awful and you know, it's not, I know that people go crazy for it because it's year seven. For me, this is this is a, a real, real mess. I'm gonna get as low as three with this one. I don't like it. I really don't. And Sturm Graz, we talked in the Austrian jersey re review about the home shoes, which are, bo which are boring, but the uh, European jersey, I think, do something in 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 interesting. Lask had something similar with a little bit off center uh, two year, years ago, but I really like the black. And then you have some uh white thin stripes down the center looks interesting the only thing is i find the punta gamma sponsor just in the box here uh, a little bit bare bones but i guess this is european regulations but this is a really nice jersey uh one 
that I have, I have, I have to say, I have, have, have had to congratulate Nike. Nike, at least in Europe, uh, Sturm looks a lot better than they do at home. Uh, it's a seven star for me. And then the away jersey actually has, in a way, I think the black straps on the white look a little bit better, but then you have also the blue spawns. I think here you could have stayed with the black, but you know, I know blue, this is the beer's color. So there you go. Um, but I think it's all awesome, so I want to give it seven. And we're done with part two. Please let me know which jersey in here you liked and where you agree and disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.